Yamaha first introduced its unconventional Nikon touring motorcycle in 2018. While the 850cc triple-powered machine appeared fairly standard from the headstock back, its front end was anything but ordinary. Featuring to 15-inch wheels for forks and leaning multi-wheel steering, that provided an 80% larger contact patch than a typical single wheel. Both on paper and in practice, the Nikon delivered as promised. However, its visible high-tech features, unusual appearance, and steep price deterred many riders from transitioning from traditional two-wheelers. As a result, sales have been predictably slow. Nevertheless, those who looked past the Nikon's aesthetics and experienced its front-end capabilities have become avid fans. So much so that Yamaha decided to address the shortcomings of the original model, extensively redesigning the chassis, engine, and ergonomics to create the latest Nikon, the GT, transforming it into the true sports tourer it was always meant to be. Dan Gurney, one of America's greatest four-wheel racers, now manufactures this remarkable road bike, the 140-mile-an-hour AAR Alligator, with its foot-forward low-seat riding position and 700cc Honda engine. For Gurney, building the Alligator is the realization of a dream. Dan Gurney achieved so much in his life that building a few dozen unique, high-end motorcycles seems like a minor footnote in his legacy. The Alligator, named for its low lung appearance, stands out among his creations. Built by Gurney's All-American Racers, it features a modified Honda 650 engine, expanded to 710 cc, and producing over 70 horsepower. The bike's extremely low seat places the engine near the rider's crotch, reminiscent of Kaneda's bike from Akira. Weighing just 320 pounds, the Alligator is incredibly fast, but offers a unique riding sensation due to its unconventional seating position. Gurney and AA are always added a special touch to their vehicles. The Alligator's design wasn't about being weird for its own sake. It followed the principle of form-following function. Gurney's height led to innovations like the Gurney bubble, and lowering the seat on the alligator helped manage his higher center of gravity, resulting in a design similar to a recumbent bicycle. The Paravis Monotracer blurs the line between motorcycle and car, offering the thrill of two wheels with the comfort of four resembling something straight out of Star Wars. This ultra-exclusive, fully enclosed motorcycle features training wheels for stability. This ultra-exclusive, fully enclosed motorcycle features training wheels for stability, accelerating from 0 to 62 miles per hour in just 4.8 seconds while achieving 65 mpg. With its unique mix of performance and luxury, the Monotracer might be the sports car or motorcycle of the future. It was even named one of Time Magazine's Best Inventions of the Year in 2008. Driving the Monotracer is similar to riding a motorcycle, just twist the throttle and go. But it has a clutch pedal instead of a lever. The Monotracer leans into corners at an impressive 50 to degrees, with ABS and traction control ensuring safety. We have yet to stage a drag race between the Tomahawk and a Viper. Tomahawk weighs much, much less. The Viper has a better contact patch, so it would be very interesting. I think the Tomahawk would come out on top in acceleration back then. Pretty sure it would. The Dodge Tomahawk is a non-street legal, crazy concept vehicle that blurs the line between car and motorcycle. Only 10 were made over four years after its debut at the 2003 North American International Auto Show. 
It featured an 8.3L, 500 horsepower V10 engine from the Dodge Viper and weighed 1,500 pounds. Its bizarre design and for close coupled wheels garnered significant press and industry attention. Despite not being street legal and lacking any road tests, the Tomahawk's critical reception was positive. Its top speed was never revealed, and many replicas were produced. Dodge only officially produced nine, while Neiman Marcus sold nine weird replicas at $555,000 each, all also non-street legal. Dodge labeled them as rolling sculptures to avoid legal liability for their use on public roads. If you've ever wished your suitcase could move itself through the airport, the Portland-based company box has something fascinating for you. Their first electric scooter, which is about a meter long, looks like a weird mix between retro luggage and an oversized camera. This crazy scooter can travel up to 80 miles on a single charge, reaching a top speed of 35 miles per hour. Priced starting at just under $4,000, the high cost might deter many potential buyers. But being part of the eco-friendly elite isn't cheap. To achieve the full 80-mile range, you'll need to spend an additional $500 for a Corta system, essentially an extra battery pack. While the box may look bizarre, it's intentionally designed to be non-intimidating, aiming to attract a diverse range of riders, including women and seniors. This unique design hopes to make eco-friendly travel more accessible and stylish.